Thank you, thank you. Yes, we uh, you know, kind of like homecoming today because walking in here, I you know, of course, Kathy and uh, she had them there and Robin there and you know, about the people in the, the old folks in the Ontario Australian Foundation. So this is almost like a number, a lot of for me. <laughs> and that's, that's great. Well, in view of the fact that we don't have 65 speakers and opportunity, I'm going to limit my, my remark in about 10 seconds. Well, good to be back, and I am back. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's kind of like, like a four and a half year holiday. <laughs> that was a great holiday. And I want to uh, recognize the presence of uh, one of my uh, great friends in, in, uh, in government, fantastic colleague, uh, Minister uh, Matthew. Now uh, you're looking after the management board. So uh, other than locking the back of the finance minister, I will lock uh, your back as well. So, <laughs> so that's, that's great. Uh, to the international audience, in particular those from US and uh, also from out of the province, welcome to Ontario and welcome to Canada. Really my pleasure to be here today. And as I caution that this is my first opportunity as Minister of Citizenship, Immigration and International Trade to meet with all of you, the leaders and drivers of Ontario's thriving non-profit sector. When I think of our government's commitment to delivering vital services, making economic and social contributions to Ontario's community, I think the great work all of you are doing across this great province. You, the people, that make up Ontario are this province's greatest strength. Your talent, skill, your compassion, competitiveness, your diversity and support for one another, you are what makes this province so great. This government's plan is to build on those strengths to create opportunities for people today and for tomorrow. With that in mind, I really, I really want to thank for your hard work and contributions. And in honor of today's day, policy and network strategies for thriving non-profit sector, I want to share a powerful story of success about when government and the sector work together. It was about back in 2010, uh, the Honorable Eric Foster, the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration, and my good friend, Helen Bursner, launched something called Partnership Project. The Partnership Project was an initiative to strengthen Ontario's relationship with the sector. It began with a series of consultations that many of you participated in. And it was during those consultations that you, the law enforcement sector, told us that Ontario needed to take action to make our funds, increase transparency, and share information between government and the sector. So Ontario put a team together to tackle this. And today, we are here to unveil a direct result of that recommendation. We partnered with ServiceOntario.ca and have created a brand new sector section of their website dedicated to non-profits. This new online space for non-profits offers a variety of information for individuals and groups who want to start a non-profit or learn how to manage a non-profit on issues such as governance, engaging volunteers, understanding Rich management, that's the name of the field. You can learn about laws and the impact they have on your organization. There's also a section for organizations looking for provincial funding. I think the Minister of Finance loves this one. <laughs> you no longer have to go from page to page searching for opportunities that apply to your organization. They will be just a click away as promised. You can also find new research conducted by Ontario on the size, scope, and state of the non-profit sector, as well as 
a summary of the research. So whatever stage you, the, of the game you are at, there's something for everyone. This online resource is a great example of today's film and work. Let it be a lesson that policy is not something that should just come from government. Effective policy works both ways. It should be rooted in collaboration. The partnership project is a terrific example of networks inspiring positive change. I'm here today because I share, I stand behind our government's commitment to strengthen the lot for public sector and promote the growth of a volunteer country on earth. I stand behind conferences like this one and cooperative organizations like the Ontario Not for Profit Network. I stand behind and applaud Jimmy Stoke and Kathy Taylor of these props because these are the organizations and the kind of people Ontario needs to succeed and prosper. And in the spirit of collaboration, I'm pleased to share with you that this coming Monday, September the 22nd, with the agreement of Mr. Matthew, Ontario will make available $7.3 billion over three years to building capacity in the non-profit sector. And give me a hand for that. In 2011, we launched this partnership program. I remember it's 300,000 over three years funding. And now we are launching 7.3 billion. It's over 20 times than what we did three years ago. This funding will be awarded through the partnership grant program because we know that the non profit sector is a vital contributor to Ontario's present and future well being. And we are proud to continue our support and strengthening of the sector through this investment. I have to say today, conference will not have come a better plan. It's important to connect with your colleagues. There are many advantages of being here today. And my best advice to each of you is to seize day. Today is an opportunity to network with like-minded, passionate people whom you may not otherwise meet. Today is an opportunity to share ideas and information, to forge partnerships. Your collective knowledge and vision has drive the change we have created together. Let's keep the conversation ongoing and continue to collaborate together. We have been successful. Together, we will continue to help Ontario grow. Ladies and gentlemen, my time's up. Thank <laughs> you.